Hello and welcome to our corner of the internet. My name is Mario Ghost and today we are going to be taking a look at what's in my bag. So I'm actually quite passionate about what and how I carry. I really like high quality stuff that's made well and has good materials if I can afford it. And you'll see that not everything that I have is going to be super high quality and that's fine with me. I mean it works. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and take a look. So let's start off with the bag. I already did a review on this thing, so I'm not gonna get too too much into it, but this is the Evergoods um, Civic Half Zip. Now, this is a fantastic backpack. I love the material and just the way that it's built. The ergonomics are great. It looks nice and sleek. I love it. Um, but again, I did a review on that, so I'll link that in the description if you wanna know more about this bag, but enough of that for now. Let's start off with what's on the outside. So right here, I've got just a simple water bottle from Walmart, actually. Um, I was actually really happy with this. It looks really nice. It kind of fits my, my whole aesthetic, I guess. My only issue is that it does scuff up a bit. So there are, there are some scuffs, but it carries a, a decent amount of water. It's got a nice seal and the cap is really nice to use. Um, it's really slim too, which I like. It'll fit in most water bottle pockets. And yeah, I think my only complaint with this is that I wish it carried a bit more water, but yeah, it doesn't really matter that much. I can always refill it. So let's put that behind me actually. Next thing that we've got is the Hero Clip. Uh, they have a few different models of this, but pretty much what this does is it's a carabiner, it's not meant for hiking, but it's a carabiner and you can unclip it and twist it and it turns into a hook. So you can hook it on things. For me, when I'm at lunch, I just hook it on the, onto the table so my bag isn't touching the floor. Um, and I also hook it up in like this drawer where we keep all of our stuff. But other than that, um, it's just a really nice, well-built carabiner slash hook. Um, and it's a very, it's a very useful product. Um, it's something that can just clip onto the carrying handle of my bag and I can forget about it, but it's always there when I need it, which is quite often, um, probably, yeah, like twice every day I use this thing. So it was actually a really good investment. And since my bag doesn't stand upright, which is one thing that I kind of don't like about it, but I don't mind, um, it, it's really useful since the bag doesn't stand upright. Moving on to, let's go to the first outside pocket. So, in here I've got, let's just show you the pocket first. It's a pretty uh, small, quick access compartment with a key loop right here. Um, but first, let's go over this. These are my prescription sunglasses. Um, I don't really know much about them. They're from Nautica, but they're just prescription sunglasses. Um, they look really nice. I, I like them. They're built pretty well. Um, I just got them from Walmart. So that's nice. Um, really like these things. And then the next thing I've got is a small portable phone stand. This is very useful if I'm doing like a lot of multitasking while I'm on my lunch because, uh, because I work in retail. Um, the only time I really have to use my stuff is on my lunch. Uh, but pretty much when I, I have my iPad in front of me and then I have my phone in front of me and I just use this to hold it up and it can uh, adapt to different viewing angles, which is really nice. It's got rubber feet on the bottom so it doesn't slip around and it fits most phones actually. Um, so it's really nice and it's got these little hole cutouts right here on the bottom. So when you fold it down, the hooks kind of go through. So really cool, useful product, well built. Um, the hinges feel sturdy. I really like it a lot and I even use it at home too. So that's gonna be the outside pocket. Let's go ahead and move on to the interior pocket. So in the inside, you can see that I have a lot of pouches. So let's go ahead and start with this pocket right here. So as Evergoods calls this, this is an interior security pocket. Honestly, I use the exterior one more. And since I have stuff in pouches, 
I don't really use this one too much, but I do just in case I forget my lunch or something. I have a cliff bar. Um, this is just a like bar for eating. <laughs> um, but I really like these white macadamia ones and I can just put it in there, forget it. If I forget my lunch, I don't have to go and buy something. I just eat that. But that's really all that I have in that little pocket right here. Next, what should we start with first? Let's go least complex to most complex. So the simplest thing I've got in here, and normally I'd be carrying my, uh, my work uniform and also my lunch in here, but that's boring and yeah, don't really need to see that. Um, but this is a book. So I'm actually working on a Skillshare video right now. So when I do have time to try and learn something new, most of the time I'm actually trying to do Skillshare because I want to do a video on whether Skillshare is worth it or not. Uh, hopefully I can get that done within the next week or so, but that's not what this is about. This book is actually really nice. Um, so if you're into business at all and you're into marketing or branding, this book actually kind of talks about building a brand that's kind of like a making your customer like the epicenter of it instead of making your brand appear as the hero. It talks in terms of like stories and stuff like that. So it's actually a really cool book. Um, I'm a little bit over halfway through it. That's my my marking point. I know it's really beat up. I throw this thing around. Um, but I can't wait to finish this book. I'm taking notes on it. So that's why it's taking me so long. Um, but it's a super cool book. If I don't have, normally I'll have some type of like nonfiction, informative, self-help book um, because I have a hard time reading fiction because even though I like it, I feel like I get more out of a nonfiction book, which is one of the things that I want to do more is I want to read more fiction. Um, but if I ever feel like, you know, being productive on my lunch, then I'll always read a book. So that's one thing. Let's go move on to the next thing. So I'd say the next least complex thing, I suppose is the best way to say it, um, is going to be a pencil case from Bellroy. So I really like Bellroy uh, because of their ethos. Um, they're a really environmentally friendly um, brand. I like their leather and their products are just well made. Um, and everything about it, just their branding, it's just easy for me to align with it. So in here, I have just pens and pencils, really. It's, it's that simple. So I've got one mechanical pencil, and then I've got pens with different ends on them, um, and then different color pens, and then I've got a fountain pen right here, which is actually a really nice, well-built, cheap fountain pen. If you guys are interested, it's on Amazon. Um, but I really like this fountain pen and I've got an eraser. But yeah, this pencil case is really nice. Another thing I like about it is you can actually sort of fold it inside out and it'll kind of sit on your desk and it's easy to just grab stuff from it. So if I can show you real quick, it's not the best job, it normally is better, but it kind of folds out like that and it just sits on your desk and it makes it super easy to get all of your pens and pencils and stuff. Um, so since I love writing, that is why I got a pencil case because I carry a lot of writing utensils with me. So that is the Bellroy pencil case or pencil pouch. Um, next thing would be another Bellroy product. <clears throat> so this is just a generic Bellroy pouch. So this is gonna be in black. Um, again, Bellroy, love the company. This pouch is really nice. The zippers are super, super smooth. Um, and all that I've gotten here are some grooming products and a snack. Um, and just like, just basic stuff to kind of take care of me while I'm on the go and to also take care of like my glasses and all that. So let's hop into it. So first thing, we've got, so it kind of opens like this. I've got another cliff bar um, because normally one isn't enough, um, but yeah. And then I've also got chapstick in this little pocket right here. This is gonna be 
Burt's Bees chapstick. This is a really good chapstick. I've actually got two of them in here. Um, one that's sealed in case I lose this one or run out of this one. Um, and then the next thing I've got is just a microfiber cloth. This is just one that I got with like a pair of glasses from a while ago. Um, but we've got a microfiber cloth in here. I've got gum. After my lunch, I always have gum um, because I'm dealing with customers and I wanna make sure that my breath is fresh and all that stuff. So I've got gum there. And then lastly, but not leastly, I have uh, hand lotion. So this is from Marlo. I got it on Amazon. I like it. The only problem is it kind of leaves your hands feeling like, um, it leaves your hands feeling, I don't know how to describe it, but it, it feels like there's a lot of residue on there, even though there's not, if you do it well. Um, but if you're ever gonna use this, I just recommend you use it a little bit. Um, but other than that, it's actually a really nice hand lotion. I, I really like it. I might try something else, but if this is, I, I don't really have too many complaints about this one. So that's going to be our little, I don't know what you would call this, like a self-care pouch thing or whatever, I don't know. Um, but the last thing we've got in here is my, I guess, tech case. So let's start with the case itself. This is from Capra Leather, I believe. I actually didn't buy this case. Um, someone gifted it to my father and my father gave it to me because he didn't want it. And I was like, I can totally find a use for that. And I did, this thing is quite heavy. So let's just get into it. Let's just show you this logo right here. And you can see that I've got this thing packed pretty full. Um, the reason why is because there's a lot of storage in here. Normally I wouldn't carry this much, but since I have this, I'm like, might as well because I don't want empty spaces but let's go ahead and get into it. So, boom, this is what it looks like. <clears throat> there is a lot to go over here. So let's start with the top first. So this is the only empty space I have right here, but in here I've got a pocket knife. This is gonna be the Kaiser bag loader. Um, I'm gonna be switching between this and the Spyderco Tenacious. Spider Co yeah, Spider Co Tenacious. But this is a really nice pocket knife. Um, it's made of, I think, VG10 steel. Yeah, VG10 steel. It's only like 50 to $60. I got it off Blade HQ. It's a really, really nice knife. I think it's like quite, um, how do I describe it? It's like a gentleman's knife. Like, it, it's something I can, I guess it's a little flashy for that, but it's, it's really nice. Um, super slim, I love the form factor, sharp. Um, and built really well. You've got G10 scales and you've got just a regular liner lock uh, thumb stud and you've got a lanyard hole here. It's not a deep carry pocket clip, but I don't really care about that. I know some people love deep carry pocket clips. I don't care too much about that. Um, and then this stuff I'm not gonna take out, but I've got um, a USB-C to USB-C cable right here. This is for charging my iPad, which we'll get to. I've got a USB-C to lightning cable, which is for charging my iPhone, um, which I'm filming this on. I've got a wireless pair of earbuds in case I forget my AirPods. I've got a um, earpods that uh, connect through lightning for my phone. And then I've got just a regular 3.5 millimeter thing that I got with my old uh, Galaxy Note 9, I think. Um, and then in the bottom here, we've got the Apple Pencil, which is amazing if you like writing notes by hand on your iPad. And then in this little pocket right here, we don't have much. We just got some ear tips for the, um, for my thing, <laughs> the, I, the earbuds. And then I've got an extra pen and I've got a portable charger. This is gonna, this, it's not much, but the reason I got this is because it has a USB-C charging port. Um, this is gonna be by Anchor, or Aki, which one? It's by Aki, my bad. 
Um, and this one is gonna be 10,000 milliamp hours. Um, so next time I would probably go with 20,000 since I'm using this to charge my iPad and it'll probably go through like, if I'm charging my iPad, it'll probably go through like one third of this thing, maybe the whole, or three fourths of this thing, my bad. Um, and if I'm charging my iPhone, it'll probably go through half of it. So I just want something that I don't have to charge as much, but it gets the job done. And I'm normally really good with charging my stuff, so I don't really have to worry about it. But, um, just making sure that I'm still recording, because that would suck if I wasn't. Let's go ahead and put that back. So that is the, the little zipper pocket right here. Now, probably the biggest stuff, but I've, or the biggest things, whatever, the things that I've got right here. So this right here is my iPad. Let me get it out real quick. So it's a really tight fit in this case. If you have the Apple Magic Keyboard, um, like the, the, the magnetic one, but it's just enough to fit. And this is my iPad. It's gonna be the 2018 iPad Pro 11 inch version. And I absolutely love this thing. It's freaking amazing. And I cannot live without it. Um, the keyboard, since I like writing too, if I'm ever typing stuff or doing school, it makes it super, super, super easy to type and it's got this pass-through charging thing, so I can charge on this side, or I can charge on this side, which is more useful than you think, because you don't need to choose where you're gonna sit um, so that you're closest to the charging port. So the only thing that really might bother people is the fact that this case, all the Magic cases are made for the 2020 version of the iPad, um, but they're compatible with the 2018 version. I don't care that much. Um, I really don't care but it's something that some people might, some, something that might bother some people. Um, but this is the 2018 iPad Pro 11 inch, fantastic. I got this thing for a really good deal too at Walmart. It was like on clearance or something, which I don't know how, um, but that's that. And the last thing, the final thing that's in my bag, and keep in mind, this is different than my EDC or my everyday carry. That's gonna be more of like a what's in my pockets thing, which I do have stuff coming. Um, which I'm super excited about, but that'll probably be like towards the end of August. But the final thing that I've got is my bullet journal. So I have multiple journals, but if I'm gonna be taking my stuff to work, uh, the bullet journal is my least personal journal that I use for planning, for goals and stuff like that. So like if someone at work finds my journal, they don't know like my entire life, like at that point, just burn it because they probably, I don't know, they, they know way too much about me. Um, but this is just my bullet journal. Um, let me see if I can find a page. Oh yeah, so I just set up my August spread. So there's not, there's gonna be nothing here because it's August 1st, but like you've just got like my simple habit tracker and mood tracker here. And then I've got my monthly log which not much stuff here. I don't have much planned for the month. We'll see what happens. Um, and then just planning and all that stuff. This is kind of how I lay out my bullet journal. This is the gratitude that I normally do at the end of the day. Um, but yeah, this is my bullet journal. I love this thing. I think I'm gonna do a video on the bullet journal, kind of like a simple minimalistic way of bullet journaling. Cause I know as a guy, who's not super artistic when it comes to drawing and all that stuff, it can be kind of frustrating to, or not frustrating, but discouraging to see like all of these people with these super elaborate drawings of bullet journals and stuff like that. And it's like, I just want something that's gonna get the job done and look decent. Um, so I like a lot of minimalistic bullet journal spreads and stuff like that, but the bullet journal, fantastic. And this notebook, if you're wondering, is the Loystrom 1917. I think that's how you pronounce it. Let me go ahead and show you the logo. Uh, this is what it looks like right here. Fantastic notebook. I love this thing. I don't know what I would do without it. I'd probably go insane. I'd probably not get anything done because I wouldn't be productive at all. But yeah, so that is everything in my bag. Um, if you're still watching, thank you. I really hope you enjoyed it and maybe you got some ideas for things that you can carry with you. 
So, if you're still watching, first of all, thank you. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video and you were able to get something out of it. Um, whether it was maybe ideas of stuff for you to carry, um, or maybe you just had fun watching. I know for me, I like to watch a lot of what's in my bag, EDC, what's in my pocket videos. Um, and I don't know what it is. I just really like to see how and what other people carry. So I thought, hey, maybe someone would like to see what I carry. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, why not subscribe? I mean, it's up to you, um, but I plan on making videos on tech, productivity, and lifestyle. I know it's a new channel, um, so I'm gonna work on it, but you can also hit the bell below to get notified of new videos. Um, I'm, on re I'm on Medium. If you fancy reading, you can follow me there. That link will be in the description, and you can also follow me on Twitter. That link will also be in the description. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you and have a great day.